Morning guys. Well, I'm going to attempt to do a manual wiper blade today. Um, I ordered this from Everything Polaris and I ordered a 13 inch blade. Um, no instructions. So, <laughs> look at a couple things on YouTube and um, I believe you just try to figure out the best place to put it. What's gonna work out best for you based on your windshield. You drill a half inch hole and you go from there. This is my windshield setup. I have a split windshield, so this top part folds down. Best I could tell is I'm gonna drill my hole here. And I put the wiper blade on here so I would get an idea um, from the inside on which how it would go. So we go from this part, it would clear that, which is a tie down for the windshield, and then come all the way over. So um, I'm gonna give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. Uh, remember, I told you in my last video, never say anything's gonna take five minutes or you'd be doomed from the start. So I don't wanna jinx myself, but it looks pretty straightforward. Um, we'll circle back in just a minute. Okay, just a quick look. There's my half inch hole. We'll see how everything fits through that and I'll come right back. All right, so this is the handle that came with it. I'm assuming that this part, this is what holds the wiper blade on. I'm going to spin this off. And this will go through the half inch hole. So you have two washers that are split here. I'm going to take this one off and then I'll insert this one from the inside. Then I'll let you take a look at it. All right, just to give you a quick idea. So this came with two washers. So I'm gonna do the rubber grommet for the inside. So that'll slide through the rubber grommet be to the inside. And then there'll be a rubber grommet to the outside and then the real thin washer and then the lock nut. And then you'll be able to adjust this, I think based on um, how you need your wiper to be or how deep you need that piece to be through there. So, um, here goes nothing. All right, <clears throat> got this through, and I'm gonna slide this piece on, and then we'll see what type of adjustments need to be made. Okay, so I've got this down right now, and I mean, this looks really loose, but this spring right here will apply down pressure to it. So I'm gonna put this wiper blade on, I'm gonna insert that, and then once I do, we'll see um, how tight it is and if I need to push this bottom piece in or out I'm definitely gonna have to adjust it based on where my swing is and from the inside okay so real quick just to show you so we want this part out further so that it supports the screw <clears throat> or the handle that comes from the inside because if you don't it's gonna flop around inside there so I'm gonna tighten this up then I'll make my adjustments to the blade based on where I need the handle position to be on the inside. Hey okay, guys, um, I guess you can tell it's pollen season, right? <laughs> anyway, I finally got this thing finished and I've got it adjusted out as far as I can, but there's still just, there's a little bit of a gap right here. I mean, I might could go with a nut or something and try to lock it in place. I think it'll be okay since this has got a spring on it. Just to show you the thing. It actually, I mean, it helps put pressure on it. But when I'm not going to use it, if I want to put my windshield down, I can put that below. I come between there. And then when I'm going to be on the trail and it's going to be muddy or if it's going to be raining, I'm going to do it. I'll put it to this position right here. Um, so I've got this thing on the inside. And I think it's gonna be easier for me, like it's right here on the steering wheel. Um, but I mean, I can just grab it like this, over and back. You know, I mean, it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's like a little more than a quarter turn. It really doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, and that's a pretty good, this is a sweet, which is what I wanted to do. I'm 
right there. That'll give me some good vision. Um, anyway, hey, look, um, I know it was kind of difficult watching me install this thing because I didn't have my helper with me today, but I couldn't find anything really online for this one that was an install from the Ranger. Okay, I had to come in um, out of the pollen. But anyway, if you like the content, please hit like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys stopping by, and um, we'll have um, some more stuff coming up here before long. We'll go back to Hatfield McCoy's in a couple of weeks, and I'll let you know how it did on the trails. So, um, again, like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.